Hey there. I love to snack. And now that I'm embracing a low-carb keto way of eating, I'm finding the right things that are in line with that diet, or that way of eating. So, today I am going to make kale chips. Potato chips used to be my all-time favorite snack. Oh my gosh, I love potato chips. Never was a big sweet eater, but some salt, yeah. So popcorn, potato chips were the best. Anyway, today I'm going to be using some fresh kale to make some kale chips. It's really simple and easy to do. I'm just going to um, add some fresh kale onto my little baking sheet. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil that I have, and then I'm actually just gonna use some pink Himalayan sea salt, as well as some garlic powder, well, garlic salt, some garlic salt. Um, and I'll bake that in an oven that has been preheated to 300 degrees for about um, 10 minutes first, then I'll check the leaves if they've crisped up, I'll turn them over, I'll put it back in the oven another 10 to 15 minutes, but you have to watch them to make sure they don't burn at that point in time. So nice, easy, simple, easy to do. Let's make kale chips. Okay, so again, I'm just loading some kale onto my pan. This particular bag says it's thoroughly washed, so I'm praying that it's nice and clean because I'm not going to rinse it. One of the things with cooking kale chips is you want them to be dry because the extra moisture will prevent it from really crisping up. So this was a 12 ounce bag. So I've, I've done about half of the bag on here. And just directly on here, I again have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil that I'm just going to drizzle across. Yep, just the two tablespoons. Again, may not look like a lot, but it's more than enough because again, we don't want too much moisture in here. Literally just going to, just want to, you know, mix it just a tiny bit in here to spread the olive oil out amongst all of my kale. This bag was a chopped kale, um, organic, non-GMO, all the good stuff. Um, again, I'm going to have some, sprinkle just a bit of the garlic salt over it. And I'm also just going to do just a couple turns of the pink Himalayan just because the other one is garlic salt and not just regular garlic powder. So do a couple of those. And I'm actually going to put just another handful on top just to use it to mix up a bit more. And... Pretty much that is it for the prep for your kale chips. <laughs> and so while it looks like a big hefty pan full, these kale leaves are going to crisp up and it's probably going to come down to about half this size. So, um, but they are very, very delicious, delicious treats. Alrighty, so here's our big tray. I already had the oven preheated to 300, so it's going to go in there for about 10 minutes. I'll show you what they look like at the halfway point, how much I may need to turn over, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. First 10 minutes are done, and see how it cooked down quite a bit. So we're just going to toss them a bit. So that for whatever is crispy, it'll, you know, be on the opposite side. And it will go back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes to finish crisping up. All right, I'll show you the finished product when we're all done. All righty, fresh out of the oven. And see how they really, really cook down? <laughs> They really do cook down. You hear that? They have crisped up. I'm going to let them sit for just a few minutes to continue crisping and getting cool. And then I will simply add them to a bag and have 
kale chips to enjoy as a snack. Again, nice, easy, simple, keto-friendly snack. It's still warm, but let me pull a small one. A great, great snack. I have another dessert that I made. Um, check out the video. It is keto ice cream made in a mason jar. So if you're looking for additional um, keto-friendly sweets, check out that one also. And again, kale chips, nice, easy, simple. Check it out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. Have a great day, folks.